right, um, we're going to talk about this piece, Levitando, which uh, is actually a piece that was conceived about 10 years ago. And um, it's a rare case for me because usually I do work on a piece and I try to sort of figure out what I want to do with it and take it to the, to the end. But in this case, I knew I wanted to do this work with the feet. And I did do it in several different materials. In, um, I did it in gesso. I did it um, sculpting the foot. And then I decided to do um, a cast. And none of the materials I used initially, I, I liked. So I had my um, gesso feet, my stockings, hanging in my studio for 10 years. And I, you know, I left it there, but I knew that I wanted to do something further with it until I decided to uh, use a silicone mold and pour wax in it. And that was amazing. Wax is a really incredible material. And it took a long time to sort of pour the wax in the molds. It took a day for each pair of feet. And um, it turned out to be a really beautiful material and very um, sort of faithful to our skin. Because I could get all the skin tones and I never knew which color was going to come out. Um, I had a lot of bees in my studio while I did the work. And a lot of uh, the dust from the, um, from the bees and the, how do you call it? The pollen? Not the pollen, where they make their the hive. Yeah, the hive. It's in the sole of the foot. So it, it seems like they were walking, but they're not. So I really like that. And I guess what I, I'm always interested in working with the body. Um, the um, popular media and the traditional history of art sort of uh, has big conceptions about how to present the body. And there's always an association with a body part. Like, and I really don't want to do that. I try to, like, my challenge is to, to challenge that, to not do that. Um, I don't want to, like, I want to use a breast, for example, in my work and not necessarily be talking about sex. Or just use the body as a, as a medium for other things that are not necessarily from the physical world, more like a, a channel for what is going through with us, our attitudes, our emotions, the places where we store things from our experiences. So, um, fraction, fractioning the feet this way um, allowed me to um, sort of um, do what feet are not don't normally do. Like, feet are supposed to be the support of our body, the, you know, where we stand. And in this case, the support is coming from a, from a different source. So, in a way, this is it's like a, a levitation of faith that somebody else is really supporting us. It's being supported by, by an external source. And uh, this source, which, we, which is the, um, the pantyhose, it's um, usually clothing is the, the, the frontier at the end of our body. And in this case, that frontier, instead of concealing our body, sort of becomes our body and it makes our body uh, as noticeable as, as it would have been. So, um, uh, also the gender, um, uh, Breaking gender stereotypes is important uh, for me. And in this case, I'm using stockings that are it's a piece of clothing that is very feminine and associated with uh, women. And the feet are not feminine. So I like having this kind of a juxtaposition of um, elements. Going back to this piece again, could you talk a little bit more about um, the configuration of the piece as well as? The, uh, the, I don't know if with the, the shadows that are on the floor how the piece. Yes, very much so. I think the piece is very much about our individuality, but it's also about our individuality within a community. So I think I always thought of this piece as an endless piece, like it could really grow and take over, take over the whole space. And I think the shadow just add on in terms of that dimension and making it more present. That idea of the, the individuality and the individuality within a community and the patterns of the of the shadow 
they make me think right away about the bees and the wasps. Yes. Is that part of the, the association as well then? Yes. I think there, there is a, a connection. Yes. Could you talk a little bit about your, um, sort of how you came up with the idea that was generated from a personal experience? Um, I think for me, most most of my art comes from a personal experience within my social experience. So I think it's a lot about the world, how we're living in, and I, th I said the word trust because I think now one of the most important values in our world society is um, safety and being safe and no longer trusting people. And I think that's really detrimental to, to everyone. So I really like to sort of revive those basic human um, qualities, like trust and being able to be held and, and be okay and not doing what's expected. I'm interested, do you feel any connection to um, feminist art movement in the 1970s or contemporary feminist art? Um, I did, and I was um, I'm sort of like a daughter, and uh, it was really important for me at the beginning of my work. I had um, I started out uh, with, as a painter, and I did a lot of um, uh, very feminist work in the sense that it was reclaiming feminine body, and <coughs> sexuality, and that sort of really strengthened my work at that time. But I feel that now, although that really nourished me, I'm moving more toward talking about the body in general as, as who we are all together. 